speaking to you all as you're coming in, we have people from businesses, we have people from funding organizations, from children's charities, from The Promise, from all walks of life across Scotland. Uh, we know that too often conversations about the economy feel exclusive and preserved for those with a degree or a certain title. Too often, people like myself um, included, but many of us in this room, will feel put off or unqualified to talk about the economy. But our economy concerns us all, as the events of recent weeks have demonstrated to us in spades. The word economy comes from the Greek word oikonomos, oikos meaning house, and nomos meaning manage. So managing our household, living well within our household. But in Scotland, people are skipping meals and visiting warm banks, whilst Scotland's 20 richest families own more wealth than 30% of the poorest citizens combined. And our natural environment is creaking at the seams. We know that there are now microplastics in the breast milk of mothers and in our bloodstreams. We know that weather is getting more extreme the warmer the world gets. And it hits, of course, as it always does, it hits the poorest hardest, displacing millions every year. And we also know that it doesn't have to be this way. Some of you are probably wondering what wealth of nations means. Adam Smith, who was based at this very university, and there is a hall named after him not far from here, coined the term. And he, was, uh, he wrote about this when the old English word for wealth meant conditions of well-being. That is what wealth meant. And I would argue that's what it should still mean. And that forms the basis of this conference. So what is the role of our economy in delivering collective well-being? What must we do to live well within our metaphorical household? At We All Scotland, our purpose is to deliver social justice on a healthy planet. And ideally, we don't want to exist in 15 years' time because we would have built a well-being economy and we can all go and do something else. Increasingly, Scotland and the world is waking up to the fact that social justice and a healthy planet are two sides of the same coin, and that coin is our economy, how we provide for one another and how we trade goods and services. This requires all of Scotland to play its part in making it a reality. So I'm so glad to have all of you in your brilliant diversity here in this room today. We all know that the economy that we have inherited isn't working for people or planet, and that we are being pushed from crisis to crisis. And so it's time for us to reprogram our economy. We have many reasons to be optimistic and hopeful. A recent survey found that almost two thirds of people in Scotland believe the pandemic has shown a need to move towards a well-being economy. The public demand to reprogram our economy is growing exponentially. There are nations now standing up and acknowledging the limitations of GDP as a sole measure of success in how a nation is doing. Examples from all over Scotland are rife, whether it's well-being budgeting, business purpose, a future generation's focus, the work of the promise, and so much more. Last week, We All Scotland wrote a letter to the First Minister where more than 100 major charities, unions, businesses, economists, academics, and faith groups joined us in calling on the First Minister to urgently reprogram our economy in what I believe is the most significant intervention ever made on the direction of the Scottish economy from such a broad range of people. And we've been blown away by the support for this. And we hope that this event will build even more momentum to ensure that this becomes a reality.